I found that van for sale on Craigslist. It had previously been an ice cream truck. Just kind of somewhere, we were like, oh, it'd be funny to sell records out of it. We'll pick out used stuff so we can tailor our stock dependent on where we're gonna be. Just throw it all in the van and roll on over. Ruben used to be a buyer at Sonic Boom, but then he started working at Hardly Art and didn't get to do that anymore. Now he has the opportunity to keep that up and also sort of legitimize how we're doing it. We will send out an email to everybody and say, oh, hey, we're going to be over here on XY Street or whatever. Mostly just Seattle area. We've had requests to bring it to Portland, but... And to Tacoma. And to Tacoma, but we would have to tow it there, probably. Uh, that van barely makes it around the city. The van is small, so we can't have a bunch of stuff. So we just have stuff that we like. And we want to share with people. If somebody says, you know, I like Lou Reed, I can, you know, point them in the way of the Subsonics or... Viva La American Death Ray music. There are totally mixed reactions. There are the, I didn't know they still made records, people. There are people who are curious, but understandably don't want to get in a stranger's van. And then there are the people who are just totally psyched about it. You know, it gives us an opportunity to kind of build a community around it. Who knows, maybe we will sell enough records to be able to afford to repair it. It's more like a garage sale.